The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has admitted the possibility that the coronavirus COVID-19 pandemic might be spread in the air under certain conditions after about 200 scientists' finding. Chikwe Ihekwazu, Director General, NCDC, disclosed this at the Presidential Task Force and COVID-19 briefing on Monday in Abuja. He said the scientists urged the World Health Organization, WHO, to review its guidelines. WHO now formally recognized that the coronavirus could be transmitted indoors by droplets in the air. It said in a scientific brief that people who spend time in crowded settings with poor ventilation run the risk of being infected by the coronavirus as the droplets circulate throughout the air in indoor gatherings. The DG urged Nigerians to pay attention to ventilation, distancing and continue to adhere to guidelines on hand hygiene, face mask and stay away from mass gatherings. We're now joined by Ayodeji Olaniyi, a medical practitioner and disaster manager. Thank you for joining us on the news. Good morning. Good morning. What are your concerns with the new information on COVID-19 being airborne? Well, um, as you know, we've had issues about it being aerosol or being airborne for a while. But for them to make a confirmation, a statement that it is airborne, changes the whole dimension. We need to be more cautious. We need to be ready to face the challenge, the uphill tasks that are upcoming. This changes the whole thing because it's an RNA virus. And its infection, it's, it's highly infective. And it also disturbs the social system. Oh, how? As you can see, that affected the socioeconomic situation of the country. Exactly. Um, the, the thing that comes quickly to my mind is the airlines that have now commenced flight. With this new information, how do you think uh, it will affect uh, the continuance? Or do you see maybe a government uh, reinstating uh, a shutdown, uh, a lockdown rather, on uh, airlines? Yes, I think the first thing we need to know is if it's airborne, that means if somebody in a, in a closed cabin, we know what an air, uh, airplane is, it's a closed cabin where the airflow is being regulated or probably recycled. This needs to stop. Air flight, uh, airplanes that has air condition recycling needs to stop flying for now. Because you can't go in with a mask once you cough, the air is, recy is, is recycled and people could get infected this way. If you notice, people that came in from Europe the first time brought it into Nigeria en mass, and most of them were infected. So the airlines need to decide and design a new form of airflow, which will be air in and air out. It shouldn't be recycled. We need to understand that. So apart from the social distancing, the use of face mask, Air, air conditioned um, aircraft should not be recycled. Let's look at the situation um, with worse and worse and worse. That's the latest rhetoric from the WHO boss, uh, Tedros Ghebreyesus. Uh, he says that if countries don't take better care and implement stricter um, uh, protocols, that this situation we might not see an end to it soon. Uh, what is your assessment of our level of uh, management of the crisis of COVID-19 um, of this government? Well, um, as you can see, the old world has taken a big toll on it. Uh, we've had the worst hit in some nations where we've lost lives in hundreds of thousands. Um, Nigeria, we, we're screening because we, need, we are screening, we are isolating, and we are treating at will. But we should come to understand that COVID-19 has come to stay, just like influenza, just like measles, until a vaccine or a certain medication that will cure it is found. It has come to stay because it has gone beyond, um, beyond crossing borders. It's now leaving. It's now crossing from door to door. People are infecting each other. So we need to understand that. And for government to take up the challenge, it's, it's not government alone to take it up. 
We have the private firms that are willing to invest, that are investing, and government needs to encourage them to come up on board. Screening is not enough. So far, so good. We have 33,163 people that have been confirmed. It's not enough. In a nation with about 200 million in population, we need to do more. So government needs to encourage private uh, practice to come on board, to join in, and ensure these fees are, are affordable. Uh -oh, it should be soft that. All right, well, finally, before I let you go, you, you did allude to the fact that it's a collective responsibility. What would you advise Nigerians to do now that we have this uh, confirmation of this information that it is airborne, uh, whether we want to acknowledge it or not, it is here. What do you advise them to do as precautions? Now, people need to understand that it's all about awareness. Awareness, awareness, awareness. Many people out there in the streets don't believe COVID-19 is real. They think it's a government, it's, it's a phantom project to siphon funds or resources of the nation to loot it. So we need to let people be aware of the fact that COVID-19 is here to stay, it's here for real, and it's killing people in the numbers. So once people are aware, then they can now come on board and understand what policies governments are making. Policies of social distancing, use of face masks, now, it's been enforced all over. In, in the States, it's 20,000 error fine if you're caught not using your face mask or you risk being in jail for one to three months. Yes, it's good. But an hungry man who can't even afford a square meal wants to go and buy a face mask at probably 100, 150 naira, and is yet to have a meal on his table. So all these factors government needs to put in place. Social economic factors, you need to financially empower the masses too. We need right. to bring this up, make subsidy, give tax reliefs. Let people have a feeling that yes, government is actually taking part in their lives. All you understand? Right, so it's a collective Ayo, responsibility. Dr. Ayo Digi Olani, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.